What's up YouTube? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to this beautiful day in the neighborhood. The winds are really low today, so I had to go out and go for a little test flight. I'm getting like, like zero. I am getting some gusts here and there, but it's really under five. Look, it's like 2.6. i turn around and see if I can catch a gust from a different direction. And it's saying zero, which is nice. Okay, I hit three. So I'm under five, which is beautiful. I have the Bugs 3 today, and uh, this is just the main flight, although I did some uh, modification. As we all know, the Hubson H51S propellers are compatible with the Bugs 3, and I put Hubson's H510S propellers up front for orientation purposes. So I figured that different colors would help me um, know the front of the quad, and I kept the original, the original propellers. They do feel a little different, though. The Hubson's propellers feel a little bit of a higher quality, in my opinion, and this feels more of a cheaper. So I, I don't know if that's going to affect the the camera. It might make it an un, uneven un, un, balance of the jelloing of the vi vibrations of the of the propellers. If it if it does, I'll just completely put Hubson props. Um, I did also another mod. I uh, the camera mount that it comes with is a hard mount. It doesn't have any kind of dampening balls. These are called dampening balls. Um, they uh, slow down the jello of a camera. You still get jello, but this helps reduce it. Uh, I got this from a. Uh, um, Banggood.com actually. Uh, this is actually a, a um, camera mount from the Banging X16. And uh, it actually fits. I was surprised, but it actually fits. It just there's no modifications. All you have to do is basically slide this in, and and it stays, you know, pretty hard in there, nice and tight. I hope I'm gonna do a flip and see if it if it stays in there, but um, it does fit. Um, it is heavier. There's more metal. This this has metal in it, so it's a heavier camera mount. I removed the legs. As you can see here, I removed the legs from each motor. These little, the little, it comes with a little stubby legs around the quad in case you don't want to use the legs, the long legs. So I, re I reduced the weight a little bit. I don't know by much, maybe like maybe 14 grams, but um, at least it's something. And I also did another, these are all simple mods that anyone can do. It's not hard, but um, this camera mod. I, I lowered it. Instead of having it long ways like this, I removed it from its camera mount here. Uh, excuse me, I removed it from the antenna mount here and um, I laid it across the leg and I used twist tied and I taped it. And so, so it's kind of straight down. It's not perfectly straight down, but when it pitches forwards like that, it will be straighter. So, so this is the main flight of the Bugs 3 for me. And uh, I actually got a bag for it, and I'll leave the link. This bag perfectly fits. It fits perfectly, and there's room for the front for your your stuff and your transmitter and the quad cop that goes in there. You do have to remove the propellers. But it's, I'll leave the link for you for the bottom of the description, and. Um, Let's get the batteries. See, it also holds batteries over here. Uh, where's my batteries? Here we go. And it's always a, a good idea to label your batteries so you know which one you use first and which one you finish. So this is letter A for me. So that's it. Let's get this bird up in the air. Uh, I'm gonna start my camera. Another thing good about this camera mount is you don't have to drill holes. It has a pre-cut hole for the Xiaomi. So the other 
camera mount that comes with the Bucks 3, you need to cut a hole on top for a Xiaomi camera. So that's pretty neat that it has this little like uh, perforated cutout so you can push in the button. Um, and it has cutouts here too. So for other types of camera. So it's pretty cool. So we'll just power up the, the camera. Remove my camera cover. And another trick, I always put like a red dot on a, on the lens cover so I know that it's still on. These are little tricks you'll start to learn as you get into the hobby. Because a lot of times people have turned on cameras with the camera lens uh, cover and uh, has nothing to show. Alright, so the camera's turned on, so I'll hit it again for a video. Hit this on top. Alright, so let's uh, turn on the transmitter, and I kind of labeled it because I'm trying to get used to this transmitter. It's very toy grade. Um, this is to arm it. So you just tap it and it should arm. This is your rates, low and high. There's only two rates. And this is your flip, and this is your camera if you have one of those MJX cameras attached to it, which we don't. So let's turn on the transmitter and put in the battery. camera is filming and I have it on an angle a little bit so hopefully that will take care of horizon level um, this is the first time I'm using this quad so I want to make sure the gyro is okay so to calibrate the gyro joysticks to the right right bottom corner a light shift flash and it's hard to see in the daytime because the sun is blasting on it so let me see if I got enough try again uh, see if it flashes. I didn't see anything blinking. I hope we're all we're bound. It's hard to tell in the sunlight, but uh, that is the directions on the manual. So you're supposed to go like that. And it should blink, but I can't see the blinks because it's way too bright outside. All right, so to arm it, we hit this button right here. Okay, short press, not long. And I'm going to raise her up. Just getting a feel for her. She, there is a little bit of wind pushing her back, so I'm getting pushed, getting pushed from the back. So I'm going a little forward here. Um, that's just good. I'm going to spin her around. But she does fly nice, though. I have to give her credit. She flies very nice. She's on low rates. Oh wow. This could be love at first sight. Love at first flight, I should say. Oh my god. <laughs> Kind of like, uh, I would say, a tarantula with steroids. Holy cow. The white light in the front is really useful, thank God. Still, 
I'm trying to get her orientation. I'm still learning. She's, she's a little bit different from my Aton, the way she looks in the front. But I'm going to go higher on her so we can get a view of the school. <laughs> So that's the school right there. She should be able to see the school with the camera going. I'm about 90 meters up. And she's hovering, looking at the football field. And looking at the school and turning her around. Bringing her down. Climber. Wow, is she a climber? And this is at low rates. And those props in the front with the different colors help a lot. I did buy a uh, tri blade. I, I brought some uh, Dell props, tri. Uh, I brought some yellow and green, so I'm thinking of putting the yellow up front, the yellow and black to make it more like a bumblebee. But uh, she is really. I am really impressed with this quad. I, I, and I had high expectations. My friend from uh, the other channel, DJ Soul Force, he uh, highly recommended it and he's 100% correct. Um, I have a lot of weight on her. I'm not doing any speed runs yet. I'm just basically introducing myself to this bird and I'm um, getting used to her flight characteristics and her yaw. And, uh, I'm at beginner rate, I'm at first rate. Let's see if I can... Uh oh, did I hit the red button by accident? Be careful, <laughs> you don't wanna hit that red button. Okay, now I'm at dual rates. I'm at uh, high rates here and the pitch is better. And she has good speed. Nice, nice speed. I'm going a little fast on her just to see how she feels. Wow, she is, she is fast. Wow. She's very fast. I have, I'm not going full throttle yet with her because I have my camera there. And uh, I know she can go faster than this. I can feel it. And this is 2S batteries. very nice at high rates so when I remove those legs of hers and the camera and keep her 
a low profile, she'll even fly even better. And a 3S battery would make her into a baby Aton. I, I have a feeling this would be my baby Aton. <coughs> so she has good yard though at high rates though. Let's bring her down so we can see that high, uh, high rate yaw. Alright, so she's close to us now. This is her yaw and high rates. It's really proportional. It's nice. Very fast. But not too fast. It's respectable. Look at that. Now, at... Oops, I hit that red button by accident again. Thank God you have to hold it a long time to shut it off, I believe. And that's a good thing because um, if, if it was a short tap, it would have fell in the sky. So that's a good thing that MGX made the red button a long press because if it was a short press, I would have lost it already. I got to get used to it. My, my fingers are way too close to um, the red button. But this is beginner rates and this is the yard. It's much slower. But it's proportional to the beginner rate. It should be that slow. Not too slow, but it's again respectable beginner rate yaw. And then high rates, the yaw is very fast and really good. Now I'm going to try a flip. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, what? I'm still learning. It didn't respond. Do I have to hold the flip button? Let me see. Yes. Nice. So that was a forward flip with a camera. Full box three, but she took it like a boss. Wow. Alright, so she got into some prop wash there and she floated away from me, but... I have to forgive her because normally you don't do flips with a Xiaomi camera dangling underneath the quad. You know, I have it set for camera mode, so it's not made, it's not in sport gear right now. It's in film gear with the long legs and the Xiaomi camera mount. So I have her for made in flight for a nice camera run. Nothing crazy, but I had to test the flip button to make sure. I'll do it again just for laughs because it is crazy that this bird can actually um, can actually flip a Xiaomi with no problem. There we go. And you see that? She went backwards. <laughs> All right. It might be my finger movements too. Her jumps are a little bit different than the Aton's, but I'm impressed with the speed. She'll go into the ground. All right, so I'm gonna do a little camera run a little faster. Look how fast this bird's going. Very nice. She has, she has the speed that I like. And she's a fun flyer. Completely manual. There's no altitude hold. I have no barometers telling me what to do. I'm flying it the old way, the old school way. And this is how you should fly, in my opinion. In my honest opinion, as a beginner pilot, you should get toys that do not have barometers and fly manually. Learn your throttle management. Uh, because if you get used to the barometers and altitude hold toy quads, when you start flying a quad that has none, something like this one, the Bucks 3, which has no, no thing, nothing there to really help me. It just has six axis gyros, but there's no barometers. When I let go, she'll, she'll, she'll start to fall. I'm holding her stick. So there's no altitude hold. But she, I, I am so happy with this bird right now. And I thank DJ Soulforce for recommending it. And, um, and all the YouTube community out there who are giving great praise for this bird. And I, I just got done seeing Bugs 2 uh, video on YouTube. And it's a GPS one. So this Bugs is not done. There is a lot of Bugs coming out. 
and they're not getting rid of the Bucks three. You know, they're not doing what uh, Banging Toys did. They, they started out with the red motors and then they discontinued it. And those first versions were the best ones out there because they were uh, the ones that had no barometers, the first version of the Banging Toys. Um, but, and then they got rid of it and they went into uh, an altitude hole Banging Toys and now they got the GPS Banging Toys, which I'm getting soon in my channel for review. Um, and, and but Bugs 3 M MJX is thinking it doing it differently they have a smarter approach in my opinion they're keeping the Bugs 3 for people out there who wants to have a car that is old-school flying and uh, they're creating another one calling the Bugs 2 which has GPS and has Wi-Fi which which is pretty cool GPS is nice it's the best way to get a camera like this right here even though it flies pretty smooth and all that if it had a GPS it would be a better better camera um, footage because uh, GPS is what you really want on a, on a quadcopter if you want to take photography and video you want it to be as steady as a rock and uh, I'm just flying around with the wind and countering the wind uh, and I'm using the rate 2 which kind of gives it more of a ground view but it's the only way I can fight the wind a little bit and another thing that I love about this is I'm the transmitter is giving me LVC warning and it's blinking which is great nice so let's bring her down I don't know how much time I have but I should have at least 30 seconds <coughs> <laughs> She's all over the place with the wind. Nice, nice. I love this bird. All right, let's bring her down. Nice and slow. Now, if you have a 3S battery on it, the telemetry is not going to be this accurate. I'm getting pushed with the wind. I'm trying to land her on the... And I'm getting blown by the wind. There we go. Long press on the wow wow I am floored this is more than just a toy this is not 100% hobby grade but it's a higher hybrid it's a deluxe hybrid I should call it it's a, it's a high-end hybrid and um, I hope you guys enjoy that first maiden flight I'm gonna be doing more testing with this bird I'm gonna uh, play around with props and take off these legs and go sport with her and try three three s light bulbs and do some test runs with her speed and um, that's it guys I appreciate you watching uh, stay tuned for more like and subscribe peace